They started their small business in the 1940s, and all these years later, it's still going strong. In tonight's Open for Business segment, Tori takes you to Oakland, New Jersey. She joins us live from her home to tell us more about Natasi's furniture. Hi, hey. Tori. Hey, you guys. Don't you think the furniture in your homes, like a if I were to come over, I'd probably get a good sense of who you are and what your style is. No question. Slip covers and all. <laughs> Plastic wrap. <laughs> are you one of those people? Hey, it's Tell a Philly thing. Not. It's a Philly thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is it those plastic ones that you slide right off? My grandma had that. Oh, yeah. Yikes. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. We got to change it up. And thankfully, there's Nastasis to help you out. And let me tell you this. First of all, just as we talked about, the furniture in your home can tell you so much about who you are. But four generations in business can tell you a whole lot about how this family works. Take a look. This is Nastasis in Oakland, New Jersey. If you're buying your car and you want to buy a BMW or a Mercedes or a Lexus, well, that would be us as furniture. Okay. This is the reclining division. Oh, yeah. Flex Steel is a great company. Yes. Try this one out. This has uh, power. Oh, yeah. And does your back hurt working all day? Yes, it does. Let's put the lumbar in there. How do people say no to this? They don't. <laughs> For 80 years, Nastasi's Furniture and Mattresses has sat on the White Horse Pike in Oakland, New Jersey, offering a haven for homemakers, looking for American-made pieces that tell a story of their style for generations. I have a friend. His grandmother bought a grandfather clock from Nastasi's in 1960. Now that's a sentimental piece that told a story. Right. You know, and forever, that's a family heirloom piece. And you're a part of that. And we're part of it. The main thing is keeping an American business going and selling American-made products. I just feel like it's something I have to do. Who started the business then? Let's go over and take a look. Started by Italian immigrant Frank Nastasi in 1942, he began by selling vacuums with Baba Boom. He would show at all the uh, big shows for appliances. So back then you didn't have TV, you didn't have radio. Okay, so Frank Nastasi get up there and he started singing and talking to the people. He was a great thing. And we started as a appliance store in Camden. And next thing you know, the appliances went into furniture. And here we are today. And today, his 30,000 square foot small business is still in the family ran by grandson Matt Lawson and his sons, Matt Jr. and Mark. Oh, Grandpa would be so happy today if he could just see those boys carry this business on. While 2020 may have torn many small businesses at the seams, it did not take this one. The family ties were just too strong to break. We came off of having a very, very incredible President's Day weekend where you know we had a lot of orders going in. It was a challenge. You know, you couldn't open your doors. We couldn't run our trucks. But the best thing about it is, is that we got through it. We hung together as a family and we got through it. You know, they say that 75% of family owned businesses don't make it to the third generation. We're standing here at the fourth generation, which is beyond incredible. They have so much pride and love for what they do. And it was such a treat just to hang out on the most comfortable of recliners and couches and catch up and talk with this family and get to know them. And that is the beauty of this open business segment because we are reintroducing you to your neighbors. So you remember them. And with each day, you know, we start a new story. But when it comes to these family businesses, to preserve the stories that have been ongoing for four generations and we look forward to continued generations, that's what we hope you get from this, that you support these small businesses, pay a visit. And I'll tell you this, I am questioning every office chair that we have in the office. 